My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a lonely high school student who lives a dark colored life. Hey, Yuto! I'd like to ask you something. Hmm? What is it? Even though I'm a loner, I still get a lot of calls. The reason is simple. They want to talk to my sister. Is it true that Nanamin, the new model who entered the school this year, is your sister? She's so cute! I'm a fan! Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, I'm not Yuto to the world, but Nanami's brother. But there's always two sides to every story. I'm home! Whoa, why are you here? It's my house too. Don't talk or my ears will rot. If you want to breathe, do it outside. Oh, that's the same as her father smoking. Nanamin is a nice, bright girl at school and in magazines. But to me, she's just like this. Oh, right. I have a friend coming over tomorrow. You mean your model friend? I'll tell you what, don't leave your room. I'll gouge your eyeballs out if you look at her because she's cute. Okay, okay. You don't like horror stories. Well, let's go play some online games. There's an event starting today. Clack, clack, clack. Good night. Lilio, are you there? Oh, you won. The event has started. What's the reward? They say it's very good. Okay, let's go. I'm often ignored at school and home, but in the online gaming world, I have someone I can call my best friend. Oh no, I made a mistake. I'm healing ahead of you, so just attack! Ten seconds left on the buff. Thanks, perfect timing. Nice. Let's keep it going. We win! That's great firepower! Thanks for the help! Because I had good support. How do you do that anticipatory recovery? It's not hard if you watch carefully. I haven't seen anyone else do it. This player is Lilio. We've been friends since I helped her out when she was stuck in the beginning. I've never met her in real life, and I don't know what she looks like. But I consider her to be my best friend. Whoa, it's late already. I think it's time to call it a night. Yeah, I guess so. See you later! Okay, see you later! Next day. Let's play online games again today! Oh, Lilial is not here. I wonder if she's busy. Well, I haven't seen her today. Sometimes she says she's on urgent business and doesn't come up. I don't want to make a difference in the progress of the event. Maybe not today. Yes? Right. Nanami's friend is coming over today. Can I at least offer her some tea? Nanami, you have a visitor, don't you? Wait, bro! I told you not to come here! I just brought you some tea. Here you go. Oh, thank you. My name is Lilikashina. Lilikashina? Are you the famous model with over a million followers? Oh! You know me! Thank you very much! I heard she was friends with the model, but I had no idea you were this famous! Oh no, I'm just starting out. By the way, Nanami, you have an older brother. I envy you because I'm an only child. I don't have anything good to say about it. Come on, get out of here! Okay, okay. Well, Lilica, please enjoy. Oh, wait a minute! Wanna play a game with me? Game? I was playing with Nanami, but we couldn't beat them. Can you help us? I don't mind, but... Uh. My sister is intimidating me. Just this stage, then. See? The background is a bit grotesque. Oh, this cemetery. The whole place looks so grotesque. Nanami can't look directly at it, so she just keeps getting hit. Shut up! I can't help it, I'm scared! So, I help them until they finish this stage. I'm 
sorry I got hit. I'm recovering ahead of you, so just attack. I'll get the buffs to you as soon as I can. Yes, I'm going to keep on attacking. Okay, nice. What? You're having so much fun. You don't play games with me. Nanami, did you say something? I didn't. Just get it over with. Hey, hey, hey! Lilica, after the next spell, you'll have a space! Yes, I won! Thank you! You're good at games? You could have won without me, couldn't you? That's impossible. I don't feel like this is the first time I've played with you. You're right. We have a strange chemistry, don't we? Hey, when you're done, can you leave? But it's okay. You came here to hang out with Nanami, didn't you? We only agreed to play this stage. Well, I can come back and play with you again. I want to play more games with you. What? Nanami was reluctant. But Lilica often came to our house to play games. Sometimes she would stay over, especially on weekends. That's when we usually have a game night. Do you want to play some racing games, brother? Great. I'll bet you a Coke. I won't lose. I'm pretty fast. You want to play too, Nanami? No, I'll be in my room. I appreciate you always hanging out with Nanami, but don't you have any other plans? Don't you get asked out a lot? Many people ask me out, but I just have to do my modeling job and all that. I see. That's tough. And I have someone I'm interested in, so I'm not sure I'd date anyone else. Well, what kind of person? When I first started modeling, I didn't know how to turn down an offer. I was quite worried about it. I also started playing online games for a change. But those games also involved a lot of human interaction, don't they? I understand that very well. People with good communication skills are strong even in the online gaming world. It's tough, but it's also reality. The party I joined at the beginning of the game just disappeared suddenly. I was isolated, and I didn't know what to do. There was someone who helped me. Whoa! He was really kind and considerate. And, of course, he was good at games. He was specially good at anticipatory recovery. He says, it's not hard if you watch carefully. But, I've never seen anyone else who can do it. Hmm? What game are you playing? Magicians Online. You are an attacker and your main weapon is an axe? And you often go on quests with your support staff? How do you know? Are you Lilio? No way! Yupon? Is there such a coincidence? I guess there is. Wait, does that mean you're interested in... Forget it! Forget about it! Despite my surprise, Lilica and I have grown closer since that day. Recently, we've been hanging out together more and more, but... <sighs> Yuto, what's troubling you? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just about Nanami. Is there something wrong with Nanami? Oh, where are you going? Oh, Lilica said there's a cafe she is interested in. Do you want to come with us? What? Don't be silly. She's always been a little salty towards me. But lately, she won't even look me in the eye. I've been staying in my room a lot. She seemed fine at the modeling sessions. But I didn't realize that. I guess that's it. Maybe she's mad because I took Lilica away from her. Well, I don't think so. Rather, it's the opposite. Opposite? I think she's worried that I took her brother away from her. No, no. She stares at me when I just talk to her. Why don't you try being nice to Nanami? Even if she refuses, be persistent. Well, I'm afraid she's going to gouge my eyeballs out. It's not good as it is. 
So let's give it a try. Oh, I heard that if you are about to get hit in the eye, you should catch it with your forehead. Like this, bend over. Thanks for the tip. Hope I don't get a chance to use it. The next day, I tried to be a kind brother. Nanami, let's play a game. I won't. Nanami, I bought some ice cream. Leave it there. Nanami, do you want to watch a movie with me? Don't worry, it's not scary. A movie? Okay. Oh, I'll get you a Coke. Would you like chips or popcorn? Why are you so happy? It's been a while since I've done anything with Nanami. That makes me happy. I see. Whatever. Hmm. I'm going to get my phone from my room. Okay. You have your phone right here. What is she doing? Nanami, your phone is in the living room. What? Oh, brother! What's this? My picture? All of these on the wall? Uh, you saw them? I thought I'd never show them to you. Nanami, why are you doing this? You know why I did it. Because I love you. That's nice of you as a brother, but... This is happening because I love you more than a brother. What? I wish you were only with me, even as a brother and sister. I thought I didn't have to worry about you at school because you're all alone. I didn't think that Lilica would come over, just once, and you guys get so close. Did you also tell me not to leave the room when she came over because of it? Don't make me say it, you idiot. It's disgusting. I know what you mean. No, no, not that much. I just can't get my head around it all of a sudden. If this is the way it's going to go, I should have... Oh, calm down, Nanami. Lilica is your best friend too, right? At least, that's what she said. That's true, but... I don't hate you for this, and neither does Lilica. Let's just take our time and think about it, okay? If brother says so. Well, I'm glad you understand. I see. If it comes to it, you and Lilica will be with me. You understand, right? At once, I wondered what would happen. Since then, Nanami talks to me and Lilica more often than before. I see. I've heard about you from Nanami, but it's surprising to hear it again from Yuto's mouth. Well, Nanami is still a child. I'm sure she'll change her mind when she finds someone she really likes. I think that's a little too optimistic. What? I'm home. I bought ice cream for the punishment game. Lilica, you didn't do anything with my brother while I was gone, did you? What do you mean? How could we do anything? It's a three-minute round trip to the convenience store. In fact, it took you like a minute to get home. If I take time, she'll take you away. I'm going to go put some ice cream in the freezer for now. Nothing really happened, right? Don't worry. Nothing can be done in a minute. I wouldn't have known if I'd had three minutes. I can't give you my brother, no matter how much you love him. I love him too. I won't lose. Let's continue the game. Yes. The winner gets to give orders next time. Yuto won earlier, but I'll win next time. Oh, please be gentle. Sometimes I get chills down my spine, but life with the two of them is a lot of fun. Tanaka Yuto, a high schooler, has a girlfriend. I've did my best for half a year and finally received the okay to start dating. I was dull and an introvert, but thought that I had gotten happiness. But that didn't last for long. I'm sorry, Tanaka-kun. Could we break up? What? Why? If you have any complaints towards me, let me know. I'll do my best to fix them. Actually, I have another person I like, so I can continue to be with you. That's what's up, Tanaka. Don't linger for too long. That's hard to watch. Takahashi! Takahashi was one of the popular kids in class. 
but he had a tendency to look down on introverts. Can't believe of all people, she likes him. Takahashi kun's always in the center of the class, and I thought that was really cool. I guess it makes sense that you choose me over an introvert like you. He looked this way, looking proud. I see. I'm sad, but that can't be helped. Wishing you guys happiness. Uh, I am feeling down though. I guess Takahashi probably has some appealing traits too. I'm going to be grateful of the fact that I was able to date her for even a little bit and try to be positive. If I do that, something good will probably happen. As I was thinking about those kinds of things and walking, I noticed a woman who had stopped and was looking around. She looks concerned. I wonder if she's in any trouble. Um, did something happen? I got lost. I heard that there is a fancy Italian restaurant around here. I wonder if it's that fancy restaurant. If so, you can go to this alley and find it. It's a little difficult, so a lot of people get lost. Is that so? Thank you for letting me know and guiding me. It seems I can make it on time thanks to you. Then I'll take you to the restaurant. What? You don't have to do so much. No, it's really right there. So... Uh, thank you. I really appreciate that I ran into you as such a wonderful person. I'm sure you're popular at school too if you're that caring. No, it's really right there. So, not at all. The girlfriend that I finally got was also stolen from me. What? I can't believe someone would dump you. There are some girls who can't see the good and great people like you. She would say those things, although she was probably just being polite. She's so kind. Shortly, we got to the restaurant. Thank you for guiding me. I'd want to show my appreciation, but... Just that thought is enough. Goodbye! On the way back home, I felt less gloomy than before. Her kindness melted away my negative feelings. She even praised me. She said thank you to me so many times, but I'm the one who should have expressed the appreciation. One day after school, I was working at a small cafe. I work here part-time a few days out of a week. We don't get too many customers here. Today, there's just one customer too. I wonder if she's younger than me. She seems like the Gyaru type. It seems like she was studying math. Ah, uh, even if I stare at the textbook, how am I supposed to get this? The exam is coming up too, what should I do? Excuse me, I may be going too far, but if you do this here and insert this number here... What? Really? Okay. Wow, I did it! Yes, that's the correct answer. Thanks for teaching me, it was super easy to follow. No, I'm just being nosy. An interaction between a staff member and a customer, unique to a small cafe. I couldn't help but talk to her, but I'm glad she accepted it. Hey, are you usually a student? Yes, I'm second year high school. You're one year above me. Can you teach me when I come to this cafe? It's okay if it's only when there are no customers like today. Please? Let's see. I can do that if it's around this time. Yes, thank you. I'm Kanae. I'm Yuto Tanaka. Cut it with a keigo, you're older than me. After that, I started tutoring Kanae once or twice a week. She does look like a gyaru, but she's serious and was a quick learner. Wow, I got through this much of the textbook in this today? You're really amazing at teaching. It enters my brain so smoothly. I'm not doing anything special. It's because your comprehension skills are high. Once you get the hang of it, studying tends to go much more smoothly. It's the first time that I thought solving problems was fun. You really saved me. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to thank you somehow. Do you have something you want? It'll be nice if it's not too expensive though. No, it's okay. I'm happy to just see you happy about solving a problem. Really? Don't you have like ulterior motives like doing something good with me? Nope. Isn't it a bit of a leap to thank me like that for helping you with schoolwork? Really? There are a lot of people who expect returns. I'm not really an extrovert, so I'm not really connected with that realm. As I was speaking with Kanae, the doorbell rang, notifying me of a new customer coming in. Welcome in! What? You're that person from that time. I didn't know you worked here. Oh, can I? You were here too? Yeah, you guys know each other? He saved me the other day when I was lost on the road. I didn't think that I could see you again. May I ask what your relationship is? <laughs> we're mother and daughter. Really? Now that you mention it. They do look a little alike. Knowing you, were you helping someone out again? She said that and softly smiled. I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Shizuka Takahashi. Thank you for the other day. I'm Yuto Tanaka. 
Your daughter has been good to me. Yuto, when do you wrap up your shift today? I'll be done within 30 minutes. I'll be waiting here with Kanae, so why don't you join us for tea at our home? Is that okay? They invited us to their home as a sign of appreciation. Oh, I'm back. I'm so hungry. Wait, Tanaka? Takahashi? Why are you here? Why? This is my home, so it's obvious that I'm home. Then that means that Takahashi is Shizuka's son and Kanae's brother. What a huge coincidence. What's going on here? I'm not understanding the situation. Oh, I didn't know you two knew each other. You guys don't seem like your friends. What's your relationship? Well... Takahashi stopped talking. Who'd want to say that I'm his girlfriend's ex to his family? That said, we couldn't avoid the question, so I explained. Yuto, you said that you were dumped by your ex. Quickly started dating him? Ah, uh, totally different types. You didn't approach her when you knew she had a boyfriend, did you? You betrayed such a wonderful person like Yuto. One day, karma is going to get you if you do things like that. Actually, she's already dumped me. She told me that she's get tired when she's with me. And that she didn't know before going out. I see. Of course, I hate guys who approach girls who are already in a relationship. I think that girl will realize what true good is after the breakup. Takahashi probably couldn't take it after being targeted. He left to his own room. Okay, should we have some tea then? Is it okay if we just leave him like that? Yeah, I'm so sorry for the trouble my son caused you. Let me at least treat you here for that. I'll provide the best quality tea and snacks. Thank you. Like this, I had a great time with them too. A few days later, I visited at the Takahashi's home again. I was officially hired as Kanae's tutor starting today. Oh, you're here. Teach me well. I heard you're really good at teaching. Hope you treat my daughter well. I'm back. Welcome back, Takahashi. Sanaka, why are you here again? Give me a break. Takahashi's voice in pain echoed throughout the house. Good morning, Yuto. You look as cool as ever today. Good morning, Takahara. You're the only person in the whole of mankind who would say such a thing. That's not true. All mankind, no, all living things, must think so. I will spread the goodness of Yuto with this Bible. The 100 million reasons why Yuto Tanaka is cool. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm scared. When did I become a guru? By the way, I'm already reserved as member number one. As a high school student, I, Yuto Tanaka, is a boring, gloomy introvert. But for some reason, the most beautiful girls in school, Sayaka Takahara, has a crush on me. I mean, please stop calling me Takahara like a stranger. Call me my sweet honey like you used to. You're fabricating memories. Putting aside my seriousness, I want you to at least call me Sayaka. So, you're not joking? No, well, it's fine with me, but it's like it's going to bother Sayaka. Even if we are just being friendly, other people are questioning us. And the day we start calling us by our first names in a familiar way is the day you're going to be in big trouble. I see. So you're embarrassed. You two is so cute! But Sayaka, on the other hand, is still striking a wrong note. It's a mystery why Sayaka likes me so much. It's not that I don't have an idea, but... That was 10 years ago. I thought she'd forgotten about me. Me and Sayaka were childhood friends. Our parents were close and our houses were next to each other. Back then, I used to take the shy Sayaka around with me, calling her my younger sister. Yuto, thanks for playing with me today. Of course, you're my sister. Besides, I had fun too. Yuto, you're so cool. You can do anything. Well, I'm your big brother. I'll protect you no matter what, okay? Yeah. Then, Sayaka had to move out due to her parents' work commitments. I'll become a great person like Yuto. Then we'll have lots of fun again like today, someday, okay? When we parted, Sayaka said so. Then, in the second year of high school, Sayaka returned to my hometown. 
Sayaka transferred to my class, where we meet again for the first time in 10 years. Sayaka has become beautiful that she is now as pretty as a model. She excels in sports and studies and has an amazing appearance. She was called the most beautiful girl in school when I realized. No, I'm really surprised. I know you said you were going to be a great person, but you are indeed too great. In comparison, I'm a boring, gloomy high school student. I don't even have a girlfriend or a female friend. But that changed little by little after Sayaka transferred to my class. Hey, Tanaka! You and Miss Takahara are childhood friends, right? Is it true that when you were a child, you played a big stand-up fight against 10 people to protect Takahara? Oh, I'm curious about that. I'd also like to hear the story about how you were badly injured protecting Sayaka from wild dogs. What? What do you mean? You're telling me something I don't know. What? Don't be humble. Protecting your childhood friend at all costs is cool. You know, I admire you. You're changing the way I look at you. Eh? No. You're exaggerating a lot. It seems everyone has finally noticed Yuto's charms. Mr. Kahara, is it true what you said before? Of course it's true. Yuto is a shy guy, so I guess it's hard for him to confirm it. Yes. That was when I hit the ball and was surrounded by more than a dozen senior students. You're starting to exaggerate something again. I was surrounded by men one size bigger than me and I was about to start crying. But Yuto was undaunted and stood up to them all by himself. I won't let you touch my Sayaka. True to his word, Yuto beat up more than a dozen opponents to a pulp. Oh, seriously? That's amazing! That is so cool! You're like a prince! <laughs> I know, I know. Just... no! It's insanely exaggerated! It's a lie! It was not a dozen people. I was with only two. I was the one who got beaten to a pulp, and I was no match for the two upper class students. Then... Sayaka's highly adapted story of her past with me went on for a while. Hey, stop telling funny stories about me, okay? There were a lot of lies in there. Indeed, I exaggerated just a little bit. It wasn't just a little bit. Even then, I couldn't do anything about it. I just got beaten up, and it wasn't cool at all. Hey, hey! Stop talking bad about someone I respect. Respect? It's not uncool. How can he be uncool when he got hurt to protect me? Sayaka. My childhood friend is a very cool person. That's... thanks. But don't go around telling other people about me, okay? It's embarrassing in general. No! I won't stop! My childhood friend is such a nice person. I want everyone to know that. Later that day, I was called out by an outgoing girl in my class. Tanaka, I'm sorry for calling you out so suddenly. Uh, I don't mind. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Eh? What's with that scary face? I wonder if you came here to tell me that I'm getting on a roll lately. I think it's a situation where you can't help but be misunderstood about it. Okay, I'm ready to apologize. Yuto, I love you. Will you go out with me? What came out of her mouth was an unexpected word. What? Me? Why? What? Overlapping Yuto's voice, the one whose voice unintentionally leaked out was... Yes, it's me, Sayaka Takahara. Someone is confessing to Yuto. He is a wonderful person, so it's only natural that someone's confessing to him. It's very, very understandable that she'd be struck by his charm, but... I thought that I wanted everyone to know how good Yuto is, but... Ugh! I can't believe that this will result in getting more rivals! What should I do? Well, I don't think we've talked that much. How did you become liking me? That's... I mean... 
After I heard a lot about you from Ms. Takahara, I started to look at you differently and think you're nice. I thought I was no match, but Tanaka seemed a bit troublesome and I thought you didn't like her. Oh, yeah. Looking back, I was the only one who was happy to see him again. I'm the one who always talks to him, and I even feel that Yuto has been avoiding me lately. Yuto probably doesn't like me. No, I like Sayaka. <laughs> Wait, what? I still like Sayaka. I always have. But she's out of my league. And I can't tell her my true feelings. Because I'm not good enough for her. Wait a minute. That's not true. Were you listening to it? Can't you tell from watching me up until today? I still love you as much as ever. I'm not even close to you. You are such a wonderful person, you know? Sayaka, thank you. That's right, I also think that Sayaka, you are a very nice person, and I like you. <laughs> We're in love with each other, aren't we? Oh my god, I'm no match for her. If you show me something like this, I'll have no choice but to retreat. I wish you two all the best. Now that you said that, let's be happy together, Yuto. Now that we know we're in love, there's nothing standing in our way. Wait, wait a minute! I'm happy about Sayaka's feelings, and I've decided not to lie about my own feelings too. But I want to be a man worthy of being next to Sayaka, who has kept her promise to me and become a great person. So I want you to wait just a little longer. Yuto... I don't want that. What? This is where you should say yes. That's all for your convenience, isn't it? I don't care about that. I mean, I put up with a lot until today. And now that I know we're in love, I can't put my feelings off. So I'm not going to care about it. I'm going to approach you with all my might. Yuto seems to like me too, so there's no need to hold back. Ugh, how did this happen? I made an effort to overtake Sayaka, even if it was just in my studies for the time being. Sayaka is number one in her grade, so I have to aim for number one if I want to make that happen. And I have to go through the extremely hard mode of enduring the seduction of the girl I like. What kind of torture is this? Of course, I want to be lovey-dovey with her too! But if I don't work hard here, I'll never forgive myself. And with all that effort... You work very hard! The first place in this year's regular test is... Tanaka! I achieved first place in my grade! That's great! Yuto is a great guy after all! You're so cool! Give me a hug! Oh! Okay! But I guess this makes me a bit more of a man worthy of Sayaka! I told you I don't care about that! But... I love you till more now. I see. Then I guess it was worth trying. So that's it. We can be lovey-dovey without any worries. Wait, wait, Sayaka! <laughs> I won't let you go. Today, I'm going to let you be lovey-dovey with me until I'm satisfied. And so, I get married to Sayaka and live a happy everyday life. But... I hereby pledge that I will continue to make the same effort because I want Sayaka to say that I am the greatest! I'm Yuto Tanaka, a company employee working for a securities company. My job is to guide new customers to open up new accounts, make presentations, and have them purchase financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. At our company, the person who gets the numbers is highly praised. Whoever cannot get the numbers, gets cornered a lot. I don't want to hear you can't do it. You're supposed to say, yes I can, or yes I did it. Just to remind you, I'm not gonna accept anything else. By the way, my performance is just enough to get by. I always meet the minimum quota, but I'm far from being considered competent. All the other colleagues have graduated from prestigious universities, and I haven't. So, all my colleagues at the office make fun of me. But one day, they put me in charge of training a younger employee. I'm Azuza Minase. I'll be working at this office starting from today. 
I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you. She looked bright and beautiful. Got it. I look forward to working with you too. Oh, don't be so tense. We can take one day at a time. That's not good enough. I'm aiming to be the top person in the entire company. I need you to be strict with me. You're so fired up. I feel like I'm going to have a heartburn. Minase was very competent. The new employee is required to get 100 new accounts in a year. But it only took her six months to achieve that. All the employees at the office were so surprised. Miss Minase is amazing. I heard her sales is already up to 3 million yen. She's by far the best among all the people she started working with. She looks cute too. I'd love to be close to her. Oh, don't even. My colleague asked her out, but she said she didn't like people who are not as competent as she was and rejected him. Her type is somebody who's more competent than she is. Nobody can go out with her then. You did great. You've beaten me in no time. I don't have anything to teach you anymore as your trainer. No, not good enough. I need to become better. By the way, Mr. Tanaka, you're holding your bag. Are you going home already? Yeah, it's time to go home, so I'm leaving. Please, wait. Other people are still working. Plus, I don't mean to be rude, but you don't have the numbers. You should probably work harder. Well, I understand what you mean, but I've met the quota for this month. A new game is coming out today, so I need to go home quickly and play the game. Anyway, I gotta go. Have a good night. Oh! Wait a minute, please! What is he thinking? I don't feel any motivation from him. Tanaka doesn't get work done at all. When he goes outside for sales, he's often slacking off. It's famous at this office. He is a typical Deadwood employee. The university he graduated from is low level. So we got into this company only with luck. Huh. I played the video game too much last night. Man, I need you to straighten yourself up. We're going to meet our customer. I'm gonna hit you in the face if I miss this contract because of your carelessness. Haha, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the trainer, but you're training me instead. It's not funny. After meeting with a customer, as we were talking... <laughs> My performance is up again. Now, I'm at the top in the office. Mr. Tanaka, what did you think of how I did the sales? Let's see... To be honest, it wasn't good. What? I got the contract, though! I could clearly tell that you wanted to get your numbers up. You're thinking too much about yourself, not about the customer. You can get the contract now because of your looks, but your numbers are gonna suffer eventually. Mmm... You sound so bossy! Just to let you know, my performance is better than yours, you know. Please don't talk back to me when you don't have the numbers. I just answered your question. It's up to you if you take my advice or not. Man, I thought you were going to compliment me. Mr. Tanaka, you don't understand me at all. I'm gonna get more and more numbers and get your approval. Just wait and see. Minase was quietly fired up. However, despite her passion, her numbers stopped going up. I heard Minase's performance is the lowest. She was doing good at first, but what happened? If she stays like this, eventually she won't be able to meet the quota. Next month, she finally couldn't meet the quota. You must be slacking off recently. We don't need anybody who can't get results. If you do a bad job, you'll put more burden on other colleagues. I'm so sorry. I'll be sure to do better next month. However, in the following month, her numbers didn't grow as she hoped for. Dang! I can't get any contract! I was doing so good at first! What in the world happened? Why is that? What's wrong with how I'm doing sales? She seems to be cornered. She has so much pride. She might quit this company if things don't change. I got worried and talked to Miss Minase. Miss Minase, can I talk to you? It's not good to keep pushing so much, so do you want to go outside for a little bit? I guess she was feeling down. She just followed me without arguing back. Is this... a golf course? When I go outside for sales, I practice hitting golf balls here. It feels good when I make good shots. Um, well, did you come here to slack off? 
Then I gotta go back. Just hold on. I want you to meet somebody. Hi, Tanaka. Is this Miss Minase that you were talking about? Um, excuse me, but who is this? Well, let's see. I'm just a no-name old man who has too much free time. This is Mr. Kashiwagi. He is a president of a company. You've heard of Sprinkler Corporation, right? What? Sprinkler Corporation is a listed company. Mr. Tanaka, I didn't know you knew such a great president. We are golf friends. Tanaka is a very competent man. He always works hard to get new information and analyze them. And he always gives me fresh information. It's not just me, but a lot of big name people trust him. <laughs> you're talking too highly of me. You always teach me a lot about golf. And your name was Minase, right? I heard you're troubled because you can't get sales numbers. Well, since Tanaka asked, I'm gonna help you out. R really? Thank you so much! After we left the scene... The reason why you went to the golf course for outside sales was not to slack off. It was all to get trust from your customer. We have been entrusted with our precious money. It's important to study the stocks and economic trends, but first, we have to get our customers to open up to us. But, is that okay? Can I really use the connections you have built? You can probably get to the top in the company, not just at our office. I don't have any ambition to get to the top. It only gets tougher if expectations become too high. I get enough numbers so I won't get cornered, and I live a relaxed life. But making the contract isn't the goal. You need to do your best for the customer's benefit in the future. If you fail, you're gonna make me look bad. Y yes I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna return the favor to you. Miss Minase's mindset has changed, and that showed in her results. Minase is top again this month. It's been three consecutive months now. She achieved one of the highest numbers in the company. I also feel proud as a manager. You all learn from Minase. Yeah! yeah. Amazing. Amazing! Minase has made her comeback. On the other hand, Mr. Tanaka isn't thriving. You're misunderstanding. Just to let you know, Mr. Tanaka is very competent. A lot more than I am. Mr. Tanaka, great work today! Hi there! You did great again this month. This is all thanks to you, Mr. Tanaka. I haven't done anything special. It's because you worked hard. But I'm frustrated. I want everybody to know how competent you are. You're actually a lot better than I am. It's okay. I don't want everybody to expect too much out of me. You really don't ask for much. I'm not sure if that's the right way to put it. I'm okay if you're okay, as long as I know that you're an amazing person. By the way, do you have time after this? What is it? Did you need to talk about work by any chance? I actually have a rule that I don't talk about work after working hours. No, it's not about work. I want to know you more, personally. It's my first time to meet someone I can respect. Wow, you sound so desperate. Even after that, she passionately asked me out. Giving into her passion, we started dating. When she gets stuck at work, she always comes to me for advice. She's now making the top numbers in the company. Nobody except us knows that a boring introverted employee like me is actually supporting the most competent and beautiful employee in the company. My name is Yuki Hiragi. I'm an ordinary high school freshman at a public high school. It's been a short time since I entered the school, but I'm enjoying my school life with my good friends. So, yesterday, Sato did. Ha <laughs> That's insane! Hey, look! She's Mika Akasaka! Isn't she a former woman gang leader? I wonder why she comes to school normally. She has bad look in her eyes. They say the people she hangs out with are really bad people. Let's not get involved with her. Hey, hey, don't freak out that much. What? Of course we're freaking out. A guy from the same middle school told me that anyone who disobeyed her was beaten up and sent to the hospital. Yeah, but you didn't see that with your eyes, right? I'm going to go talk to her for a minute. Hey! 
Hi, Akasaki. Do you want to join me for lunch? No, I don't want to. Come on. Let me borrow this seat in front of you. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't give you permission. I was so hungry. And? Why were you late today? You're annoying. It's none of your business. It is. We're classmates. I just wanted to get to know you better since we're classmates. What? Don't you know what they say about me? Or do you know when you're saying that? Do you want to get beaten up? You'll get suspended if you do that here. Uh, anyway, don't talk to me. You have lots of other friends here. Go talk with them. I'm in the mood to eat with you today, Akasaki. If you don't like that, come on, just hit me. Huh? I ain't gonna do that. I don't want to get suspended for such a dumb thing. I get it. Then you'll have to talk to me. What is this guy? You piss me off. Oh, it's the bell. I'm going back to my seat. Huh? Get the hell out of here. Y Yuki, are you okay? Don't make it a big thing. I was totally fine. But I heard you guys talking about someone getting beaten up or something. She wouldn't do such a thing. Because it's already noon and she's already at school, isn't she? If I overslept, I'd give up and take the day off, if it were me. She must be a diligent person. Well, I don't think people are usually that late. <laughs> good point. Well, I'll be fine, just leave it to me. From then, I kept talking to Mika every day. People don't talk to her because they're afraid of her reputation of her being a former women gang leader. But I don't think she's such a bad person. She says he's going to beat the shit out of you, but she won't touch you or doesn't even try to go away from you. I started this relationship because I couldn't let it go, but I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. Hey, Akasaki! Uh, uh, come on! Don't talk to me in the morning! Well, well, don't say that. We're friends, aren't we? I mean, you haven't been late lately. What changed you? That has nothing to do with you. I didn't say it had anything to do with me. Ugh! Shut up! Get away from me! I don't need any friends! Oh, that's gangster. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. <sighs> oh, you're having lunchbox today, huh? You usually only have bread from the convenience store, right? Well, sort of. Why are you hiding that? I mean, I thought you were using a very cute bag. Akasaki, you look a little strange today. What is it? That's why I didn't want to say it. I just happened to have some extra ingredients at home. It's just that this was all I had as a bag. Oh. Oh? Well, bread every day is boring, isn't it? And, well, are you having lunch with me today? Hmm? What did you say? Nah, it's nothing. Look, you have to go, right? You'll be late. Didn't think I'd hear that from you. Lunch break after the morning classes. Yes, it's finally lunch! I'm so hungry. Yuki, we promised to go to the cafeteria together today, right? It's gonna be crowded, so let's hurry! Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go. Um... Today... Today? Hmm? Oh, sorry about that. I was going to eat with my friends today. Did you want to eat with me? No, of course not. It's the same, with or without you. <laughs> right. I woke up so early and made lunch. I made too much, and I don't think I'll be able to finish it. It's been a long time since I ate alone. Today's lunch is supposed to be better than usually, but it doesn't taste good. Before meeting him, this used to be normal. What the... 
I guess I liked my time with him a lot. But I'll never make friends anyway. Who would be friends with such an unsociable, foul-mouthed person? Ugh. I came to the restroom, but even if I go back to the classroom now, I'll be alone anyway. I'll just hang around. So, Yuki. What? How much longer are you going to hang out with Mika Akasaki? You'd better stop it for sure. Everyone is worried about you. Yuki, she's always losing her temper and it's not good. I don't think you should hang out with her. <laughs> well, it's not their fault they think so. Yuki has a lot of friends. It's better for him if he doesn't hang out with me. It's better not to talk to him anymore, even if he comes and talks to me. Hey, don't say that. What? Akasaki is a good person. She's not the kind of person you can talk about her like that. That she hangs out with bad people and stuff like that. It's all just rumors, isn't it? Don't say whatever you want without even trying to know her better. What's the matter, Yuki? All of a sudden... You'd get angry if your friend were being insulted, wouldn't you? <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. I may have said too much. Yeah, it's not good to talk behind someone's back. It's okay if you understand. I'm sorry for raising my voice too. What an idiot. What is he talking about? <sighs> I'm a friend? Yuki is not my friend. Well, I didn't feel bad about it. It was lunchtime the next day when it happened. Yuki! Hmm? What's wrong? Um, lunch! Well, I'll eat lunch with you. Wait, no. Would you want to eat with me? Oh, of course. But isn't this the first time Akasaki asked me? That was surprising. Well, my bad. It was sudden, wasn't it? I've always been like this. I'm not good at keeping my distance, or I tend to rush into things. I'm not very friendly, and I'm often misunderstood. So, before I knew it, I was treated as a gang member, and in junior high school, I was called the leader. Hey, wait a minute. Calm down. I understand. Or rather, I knew it in the first place. Akasaki is a good person with heart, just a little unsociable. Come on, let's just eat. Lunch break is short. Uh, right. Let's eat. You're so honest. I mean, what you said earlier. Rumors that you're a former woman gang leader. Is it true that people around you were just making rumors? See? I'm like this, right? I have bad look in my eye and a bad mouth. I once helped a girl who was being beaten from a student from a different school, and that's when the rumor started to spread. I've never been in a fight before, but I found myself being treated like the leader of the women gang group. The normal girls were scared and ran away from me, and the bad ones were more like a gang member than a friend. <laughs> That's the Akasaki I know of. I'm sorry. I've been always alone. But you have friends now, right? That's... I mean, me. What? How can you say such an embarrassing thing? What? You thought I wasn't? That's sad. No. It's not like that. I'm not good at making friends or anything. I try my best to make friends, but I get nervous and become unsociable. I thought it was impossible to make friends in high school because everyone is afraid of me of the rumor. So, you know, I'm happy. I get it. So you want to be friends with everyone in your class then? Uh, well, yeah. I'm glad I got to hear you say that. Well, that's what she said, everyone. What? Everyone? Akasaki-san, sorry! I've been so wrong about you. I'm so sorry for all the weird gossips. I really am! 
Yuki told me. We didn't try to get to know more about you, Akasaki-san. I didn't know how nice you were. I'd like you to be your friend too. Me too. I want to be friends with you two. What? Everyone? Thank you. I want to ask you guys to be my friend too. If you like me like this, I'd be happy to be your friend. That was good. Yeah, it's a thanks to you, Yuki. And after school... Akasaki, since we're here, let's go home together. Uh, huh? Uh, seems like we're friends. Let's go home together. That's nice. Isn't Akasaki getting kind of clunky? Akasaki, you're so cute. So, Yuki, um, are you free this weekend? Huh? I think I'm free on Sunday. Okay, then we'll go somewhere. Uh, to have fun, because we're friends, right? You're so bad at asking. It's okay, we're friends, right? Okay, let's invite everyone and have some fun. Just you. What? I said this is a date. A date? Okay, so Akasaki wants to go on a date with me. Hey, don't repeat it. It's embarrassing. And call me Mika. Oh, Mika. I'm looking forward to Sunday. My friendship with Mika has just begun, but I have a feeling that I can become a deep friend with her. I'm sure dating a girl who is pure, kind, and a bit difficult to be honest with will be great fun. Come to think of it, this is the first time we'll see her outside of school. I wonder what kind of fashion sense she has. But I'm sure Mika will look cute no matter what she wears. That's why I'm going to tell her she looks good the instant I see her.